Hello everybody and welcome back to Virtual Truck Driver Daily. I've just left the brick trailer there because I've been here for a few hours and nobody's done nothing so I've ditched the trailer because I've got a ferry to catch. Okay, um, as the title says we're off to Scotland. So, sort of home. Well, it's in the UK anyway. Let's just say that. Um, I'm currently in Alborg in Denmark, in uh, northwestern Denmark, well northeast, whatever, northern part of Denmark, and I'm going to Fort William, uh, that customer there was very happy with the service we provided him the other week, only thing is this bloke's got his own trailer, he has several trailers so I've got to pull a trailer that's not in swift livery, which I don't mind but at the end it's a pain in the ass at the same time because I like to represent Swift um, so yeah, less said about that the better we're carrying newspapers apparently this is a week supply of newspapers in here in the trailer I don't want to know what it's going to weigh cause it's going to weigh something stupid because newspapers weigh nothing but you get a lot of them together they weigh a lot so it's 858 kilometre trip, not including ferry, including ferry we're looking at about just over a, a thousand kilometres. Uh, I've caught up with one of our uh, contract outlet people in Denmark and he is hauling that very nice trailer and that's actually one of my favourite current siders that we have in Swift. Uh, uh, the trip, not including ferry over, oh no, including um, overlay on ferry, it's 32 hours 29 minutes. So yes, the plan is to go from Aalborg to Esbjerg where I will catch an overnight ferry. Um, kill the rec I'll stop recording there because I'm going to have to wait in a ho holding cell so that, uh, holding cell holding spots so that uh, they can just check the trailer over because to be truthful I don't want to take anybody who wants to try and enter the UK illegally so I will um, get the trailer checked while I'm there get the all clear, make sure the seals are all on, make sure the TIR cords are um, still on um, then I'll kill the recording there, I'll go on the ferry and then I'll start the recording again in either Grimsby or Newcastle, I can't quite remember where it's going to be. It could even possibly be Hull. No, Grimsby is Hull. No, I'm confused now. Oh, I can't remember. Why is it so difficult to remember? Can't bother to wait at the red lights, going to do a little bit of cheating. You know? Bang. I'm so cheeky, I See, there you go, that saved me some fuel for stopping and powering on, so I'm saving my unit, I'm saving the brakes and the fuel. This is quite a trek to the trailer, so I'm just going to sit here and mess around <laughs> for a little bit and just have a laugh. Because, hey, about my motto is I want to try and make at least one person smile. If I can make one person smile, then that's my do job done for the day. Um, we're heading to Outer Alborg. We have been here once when I had that drop at NS Oil. The one where I had to go and size it up because it was the first time we'd been here. And to be truthful, that's about two days after Scania DL uh, Scandinavia DLC came out. So I hadn't noticed the yard or its layout or whatever um, for uh, but before. So I went and sized it up, if you remember. This is one I drove around in circles for about 20 minutes and just ditched it outside and went another look. But uh, yeah, we're going to the. Is it. Vi I think it's Vitas. Uh, the Wind People. Why they're producing newspapers, I have no idea. I'm just not going to say anything it's a lot easier. Uh, I know they've got an in and out yard, so I'm hoping this is the right. Yep, yeah, there is a green little, thing, a green little icon thing. And. Activate. Oh, talking about activate. Actually, I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna wait till I've done all the pre-departure walk around and everything, and um, I'll tell you what I watched today. 
search credit of Vitas now. Uh, trailer's over there. It's very nice. It's a Smith's SKO trailer, and I will leave the 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 link to the description, the link to the trailer on the SCS SCS forums is below in the description. Anything that is public, any links for it are in the description. If it isn't there, it isn't public, or said person doesn't want me to release it. So. I have had a few run-ins with the community on um, on Facebook and the ATS2 mod box with people asking for links for Swift stuff. The Swift stuff, unless you are in the VTC, which is Virtual Trucking Company, is private. You cannot have it unless you are in Swift. So. I need to make it straight again because I, I had to have a rant the other day about this again and I can't believe I'm having to do it again in a short period of time but my Mercedes is private except for the sound mod and the interior mod everything on the outside is private yes there are various Kelsa bar mods in the community but I had mine coloured and it's a special pack from Ben Haylett if you want him to do you one you will have to ask him on Facebook yourself because no I won't take any orders for Ben me and Ben we're very good friends and we have a very good friendship and partnership commercial partnership for modding and stuff so I'm not gonna step on his toes because he's a fantastic bloke and I'm not stepping on Brad's toes neither because he's fantastic so if you want any modding work done, you will have to ask Ben Haley yourself. Rant done. Let's start again. What I wanted to talk about, and you can tell what I'm going to talk about already. New series, Robot Wars. Obviously I was born in 94. So Robot Wars was big then, and then 12 years ago it stopped. Now his back and the first few are fantastic I've only just caught up with them on our player because various things and I love it I love it it makes me feel like a kid again it's brilliant um, it takes me back to a time where life was less stressful life nobody could stab you in the back nobody could tell you that your content on your YouTube channel is crap Nobody told you that your eye racing content is extremely poor and that you you don't deserve to be on eye racing. And yes, I have had that happen on my personal inbox. I'm not one for naming and shaming, but said person if that's your opinion and I'm sorry, right? But I think you're a dick. Said done. There we go. Just fed up of waking up in the morning. I've got DMs on Twitter. I've got private Facebook messages on my private account. Going, all your content's crap. If you if you think it's crap, don't watch it. I try and make it to the best of my ability, right? Um. So that's what I've got to say. I've got limited equipment. I'm on a limited rig at the minute. I'm on a limited PC. That's it, really. So if you really think my content's crap, don't watch it. It doesn't doesn't bother me at all. Well it does, it means I've upset somebody and that's not what I wanted to do. But what am I supposed to say? Just, so people in the community who are evil, you you know who you are, I'm not gonna shame you. Um, I'm not going to shame you because I can't be bothered. Well, yeah, you, the stuff you said the other day really upset me, so. Anyway. You know, for that, I didn't want to talk about it, but I ended up talking about it. Um, but anyway, that's that done. Coming on to the E45 now, I'm going to throw some time lapse in here. Because I've been talking for the last 10 minutes. I'm going to throw some time lapse in there. 
and see you all in S S jerk. See you in a bit, guys. Hello everybody and welcome back. We are now in Espejerg. I just want to say sorry for having that rant earlier. I was just extremely frustrated and annoyed. It really annoyed me. So I just want to say sorry for having that rant. I shouldn't have had a go like that. I'm not apologising for the the mod rant. I'm apologising for the not naming and shaming people run because some people are evil and they like to wind you up really badly uh, I clicked the wrong button there because I've mapped all the buttons remapped all the buttons so it was the wrong button there my bad um, see this is one of the holding pens but I'm going on with my trailer so I'll just sit here and wait a little bit but I just want to say sorry because I shouldn't rant like that even if people are annoying me I, sh I shouldn't do that and that's not something I wanted to do and I'm not proud of it because everybody's like oh, oh yeah 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 it's all your fault it's like, okay it's all my fault but sorry for that I'm now an Esperjerg I'm waiting for the ferry and I'm well I'm waiting to get checked make sure seals and tear cords on and then I'll see you in England. See you in a bit, guys. Thanks for watching. See you in a bit. <laughs> 